would like to point out that this dog only likes to go out when it's raining. This, this thing here. Definitely a day for reading. Even the building work's been blown around the garden. You can laugh. My hair was straight before I took the dog out. So I'm trying this. Louise Penny, a better man. It looks good, hopefully better than the last two I've just, uh, just read. But look at that cover. Isn't that great? I love that. It's not going well, is it, Izzy Wizzy? Hey? Are you going to let me record this? Not sure. Look at that face. Beautiful girl, aren't you? The air is unbearably tense as Armand Gamache returns to the Socrates du Quebec for his first day of work since being demoted from his command to head of homicide. Amid blistering personal social media attacks, Gamache sets out on his first assignment. He has been tasked with finding a missing woman, but while he leads the search for Vivian Godin, Three Pines itself, is threatened when the river breaks its banks and a province-wide emergency is declared. As the waters rise, a body is discovered and the victim's distraught father contemplates a murder of his own. Gamash is a father himself and is haunted by a question. What would he do if the child's killer might walk free? Okay. Are we recording? Who knows? Right, I'm having to use my uh, my phone because I've packed everything up. I'm just about to leave my sister's house and go back home. Um, a better man. Yeah, it's quite good. Armand um, used to be the police commissioner of, well, I'm presuming it's the whole of, the whole of Canada, not just Quebec. So, um, yeah, he's done that. <clears throat> but there was an operation um, where a lot of people were killed. He gave the order to move in and a lot of people were killed um, and some of his colleagues. Um, and, of course, because he did this order, he was fired even though he saved a lot of people's lives. His colleagues are really backing him, um, saying he's a good man, um, but the politicians are using a scapegoat, as they always do, and um, he's not very popular because he speaks his mind and he's a man that knows what he's talking about. So um, he was fired as commissioner um, and they offered him the job of going back to head of homicide, which his son-in-law runs. But his son-in-law is um, moving to Paris. So um, he's going to be there for about six weeks. So they're going to be two heads of homicide. They, ex they expected him to say no, he's not going to be demoted. That's humiliating. But he said yes, because he's that type of man. And um, so he's gone in there and uh, there's a massive thaw going on with all the ice and it's coming down and it's snowing and it's raining and it's, there's going to be a massive flood and Quebec's going to be underwater if they don't take action. So he's been called into a meeting with a new commissioner who uh, sort of like respects him but is also using him as a scapegoat saying, well, what's your opinion? And when it all goes wrong, they're going to blame him. Uh, so the poor guy don't really stand a chance. But he seems very... Um, he seems very nice. I quite like him. He's a big, strong guy. Um, stands by his convictions. And he knows what he's doing. And he's also trying to um, eradicate all the violence in the police force. Uh, there's, 
I don't know whether there's violence in the Canadian police force, I'm not sure. I mean, there's violence everywhere, isn't there? Um, but I don't think it's quite on the American, um, the volume of the American side. Um, but he's trying to eradicate all of that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, he is trying to find out where Vivian Godin has disappeared to. She's pregnant um, and she was going to see her father because she's got an abusive husband and um, he's on the records but nothing's been done about it. Uh, she's been beaten up several times but doesn't press charges. And then she said, I'm going to see my father. Never arrived. So we got to the bit where uh, he's gone to see uh, Carl Tracy, who is the husband. Dirty, nasty, snivelly little man. Um, not sure he's the murderer yet. But he's got this old dog that uh, used to belong, well, belonged to Vivian. But he's really, really old and the, the guy says, oh, I live on a farm, he doesn't do his job, he doesn't rat, all he does is sleep, eat and shit, basically. Uh, I'm taking him into the woods and I'm gonna boosh. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> not the dog. <laughs> but of course, our man, Armand, he comes back. He comes back, he gives the money to the guy and he picks up the dog and puts him in the back of the car and the dog's called Fred. And now he's running around um, police headquarters, stinking, not had a bath, he's, shake, he's, he's shook and all his mud's flying off into, <laughs> into the office and stained everything and everyone. So I'm, lo I'm loving Fred and I'm liking Armand and um, yeah, he seems really intriguing, I'm, I'm interested. So we've got uh, a potential flood coming up. We've got a potential murder. And we've got the father of Vivian. It keeps ringing up and threatening to come down and shoot Carl Tracy um, because he knows he's done it. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he is the murderer. Maybe he isn't. Maybe she's still alive. Maybe she's living in a hotel somewhere trying to change her identity. Who knows? So he, um, he lives in a great little village. Uh called Three Pines, which it, the community all know each other, you know what they're like, these places. And um, it looks like the river Bella Bella is about to burst its banks and everything's going to be flooded. So they're all talking amongst themselves about what they're prepared to take if they have to move out really, really quickly. I'd take Ruth, said Olivia. Thank you, said the old poet. Because she's a witch and would float, asked Clara. Of course, said Olivia. We could cling to her. I'd rather drown, said Gabri. They turned to Billy. I think you know what I'd take, he said. Your tractor, said Myra. Billy is um, an, an English northerner living in Canada and there's really, there's really funny scenes where Armand Gamache can't actually understand a word he's saying. And every time Billy speaks, because he's got a big tractor that is going to be used to dig a big uh, a gully, which is going to divert the course of the river, which happens a little bit later on. And that's when they discover a bag that belonged to Vivian, and then they discover Vivian's body. Um, but every time Billy speaks, there has to be a translator, because um, Gamash can't understand the word he's saying. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of really good characters in here. There are only tiny parts at the moment. I mean, I'm only probably on about page 200. Um, but they're just so likeable. They're just really making me laugh. There's a great um, character in this called Ruth, who's a really old poet. And she walks around with a duck under her arm called Rose. That doesn't quack. It just goes, fuck, fuck, fuck. Which is, just really makes me laugh. So every time Armand Gamache's um, son-in-law is mentioned, uh, Jean Guy, Bouvier, um, she's always got something really horrible to say about him. And like, he rings, he rings on the phone just as the river Bella Bella is about to flood Three Pines, the tiny village. Gamache took a deep breath and said a silent prayer. How's it going there? Jean Guy asked. We've designated St Thomas's as an evacuation centre. Most of the residents have been moved up there, but some are staying behind. You speak into numb nuts, came a familiar voice in the background. Which is Ruth. The witches float, asked Jean Guy. 
I believe they do, said Armand. Shame. I see he's staying where it's safe and warm, said Ruth. I'd expect nothing less, or more. Bitch, muttered John Guy. Bastard, said Ruth. This is great char characterisation. <clears throat> you have to have, I've been poorly for a couple of days. Um, I'm feeling a little bit weak and wobbly. <laughs> Which, if you knew me, isn't my nature. So just, just forgive me. I know I look a wreck, but hey. If I don't, if I don't keep recording um, snippets, I'm never going to get through this book at the moment. Work's been hell. Everything's hell. And what was the other thing I wanted to point out? Oh, there's also um, another police officer in it called uh, Robert Cameron, who um, is an ex-footballer or an ex-rugby player. He's, he's massive, this guy. Um, and he's, uh, he's got the temper of a touch paper. And there's some sort of involvement because he keeps trying to beat Carl Tracy, even though he's a policeman. And he's admitted that he cared a little bit too much about Vivian Godin, who's the lady that's been murdered and is pregnant. And um, he could be a suspect because he's a married man with two kids. So um, he could... I don't know whether Tracy is guilty or whether he's guilty at the moment. So there's, um, there's suspects coming in. And, uh, he's, yeah, he's very brutal. He's a very, very violent man, even though he's a copper. So, um, yeah, Armand um, Gamache is keeping an eye on him as well. Right, there's something about the father I don't like. Um, is he trying to get at Tracy to cover, cover himself? Don't know. Uh, the new commissioner, the lady, that seems to be a little bit abrasive with um, Gamash. I think um, she secretly likes him and uh, is on his side. Hey, everywhere I go, got a little shadow. Yeah, so I think I think the new commissioner is actually on his side. Um, what's the other thing I was going to say? Yes, and Carl Tracy, the husband, yeah, he's horrible, he's slimy. Um, I'm not sure he did it. I think there's a better man in there, um, but he's drunk, so, um, if he didn't drink, I think he'd be a better man. And maybe he will be. And there's a new uh, character come, come in. I think her name was Pauline. Um, she's running Tracy's Instagram and uh, med social media accounts, which also I think, because there's been things being planted on social media about Gamash um, by somebody called Num Nuts. I don't think that's Pauline. I think that's the commissioner. Secretly protecting Gamash. Um, when she's been told by the mayor and the politicians that she's got to stand back. I think secretly she's she's rooting for him. So we'll see. Anyway, let's have a look. Finished. It was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I really, really liked the lead ca character, Armand Gamache. And uh, I liked all his family. The, the, the characters were just really likeable and that's what makes the story for me. Um, I'm interested in them, I want them to see them do well. Um, I liked uh, Isabel, who um, is his second in command and she walks, walks with a stick and, um, sorry, the... Uh... Teddy! <laughs> Hello everybody! My tester played with his football that he got for Christmas. Well, not his football, but his Christmas ball. That he, uh, he shakes really hard and takes the backs of your legs out and next thing you know you've gone over so anyway um, yes I really recommend it A Better Man Louise Penny uh, there's some good characters in there and I like it I didn't realise that um, obviously these are, are going to be a series I presume uh, with the Chief Inspector uh, Ganache Mysteries so he's obviously one of her characters I've never read a Louis, Louise Penny before I'm so hot so anyway highly recommend I would give that book a four 
nice easy read, lovely characters. I love Ruth, I love Rose the Duck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, I loved the characters. I loved Dominica Oddly, who is an art critic. Uh, that yeah, I loved it all. I think it's gonna. I think that probably the story will carry on in the background with the Three Pines and the characters are in that, and Gamash will get another story. Uh, yeah, really good. Highly recommend it. Nice holiday read. Nice read in the sun. Not difficult. Easy to follow, but exciting. It was good. Do I need to say it again? I probably shouldn't. Have a great evening. I'll catch you all later. Stay safe. Ta-da! Oh, and I forgot. I cannot believe I forgot. But Fred is okay. He's with Gum On. Then, Teddy. That's cheating. <laughs>